Hey there folks, thanks for tuning in to a brand new video and I am showing off one of my absolute favorite breakfasts and one of the most popular breakfasts throughout Lebanon. Depending if you are Lebanese or Syrian or Armenian, you'll either notice as Manej or Zakhtar of Hutz. And we picked this up from a local bakery here in Los Angeles, specifically in Glendale called Tauron Bakery. And we top it with cheese, cucumber, mint, tomato, sometimes olives. I was actually out of it, but Usually we do add that as well. Now zakhtar is basically a thyme mixture and then the dough, it's almost like a pizza crust style, but of course a lot better and so much tastier and fluffier. And you can throw it on the pan, which is what I'm going to show you. As you saw, I chopped up and cleaned my produce and sliced my cheese. Well, it came pretty sliced actually. And put that on top of the uh, Armenian pea breakfast pizza, if you want to call it, or Lebanese breakfast pizza. And if you want to, you can always substitute different veggies or not put them all. You can even make it simpler and just do cheese. When it comes to the cheese, don't do anything like cheddar or really heavy cheeses. We usually stick to provolone, Swiss, mozzarella, or maybe like an Armenian style string cheese. Those will be the best for this type of meal. Now go ahead and you can either toasted without the veggies or with. Today I just went ahead and tossed them all together. You want to keep your pan maybe low to medium heat depending on how crispy and how fast you actually want to do it. I just threw the lid on to make the cheese melt a little bit quicker. And when you do fold it, be careful because it will be very hot. I made that mistake and burned my fingertips. just kind of stuff in stuff back in all the veggies into the little pocket area and you can flip it and you can see how it became nice and crusty there it may break apart I kind of left it too long and started breaking apart go ahead and plate that beautiful breakfast pizza slice it up and try to make it look a little bit fancy before you dig in and there you have it folks one of the best Lebanese breakfasts you will ever eat.